Hey everyone. So this video is going to be about my uh, my engineering essentials. Uh, I put everything in a bag, but I don't carry any of this normally uh, on me all the time. Anyway, so these are the things I've used and found really useful. I just want to make a note that like by no means is any of this necessary or required. It's just things that I found have made that I have found to make things easier and a little bit more fun in school. So yeah, let's just get into it. So starting off the list, we have my calculator, the TI-36X Pro. You're gonna need a calculator because you're gonna be running a lot of calculations by hand for all your classes. So pick one you like because you're gonna be spending a lot of time with it. The next item is a pencil case. Didn't have one until a year ago and I wish I got one earlier. It makes looking for pens and pencils so much easier. Believe it or not, it'll save you time so you don't go scrambling through your bag wondering where your stuff is. Next item is an iPad. It makes note taking super easy and helps with organization. If you want to go the techie route, I highly recommend an iPad. I'll probably make a video going more in depth about the benefits of using it for engineering. Next item is engineering paper. You'll inevitably have to submit some homework and write it out your problems, and this is the paper it's going to be done on. Aside from textbooks, you'll probably come across these two books at some point, the FE Handbook and the Steel Manual. You'll use the FE Book more considering it's meant to be referenced during most of your exams and engineering courses. It's packed with a ton of equations and graphs that will save you so much time instead of having to memorize all of them. The next item is a set of headphones. I would highly recommend some quality headphones, especially now that classes are more online than ever. Also, they're great for music and watching videos online. The last item is a laptop or a computer that runs CAD programs. And my girlfriend, Isabel, wanted to share a little bit about her laptop. So I have a Razer Blade Stealth. For comparison, it has the same thickness as like a MacBook. Um, this one actually feels heavier to me than this one. Um, this is really compact, but it can still run really big programs like AutoCAD and Civil 3D. And it's it's because it's a gaming laptop, so like I've actually run like Grand Theft Auto 5 on this. Um, really slow, but it runs. So to wrap everything up, um, thank you for making it this far. I appreciate it. I just passed the 100 subscriber mark a while ago and I'm really excited. I couldn't have done it without you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so, maybe liking the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I get my ideas from you guys. So uh, yeah, thank you and uh, I'll see you on the next one.